I'm Sean Duffy with MedGadget. I'm here with Dr. Pierre Dupont from Children's Hospital Boston. He's got this remarkable new robotics technology that they're working on, um, which allows you to do endovascular procedures with micro little robots, and they've got an awesome setup here. We're going to ask him to um, tell you about it and give us a kind of little demo of, uh, of what the pieces are. So. Thanks, Sean. You know, our, our goal here is to take procedures that are currently only performed by a surgeon as an open procedure with the patients in cardiopulmonary bypass and to convert those to catheter-like procedures that can be performed on the beating heart. And currently the limitations with catheters is that they're extremely flexible. So you have very little control at the tip based on what you're doing at the base. So what we've been developing is a robotic platform uh, for delivering a variety of tools inside the uh, What you can see here is, is the robot playing a, a micro version of the game Canoodle, which happens to be my, uh, my daughter's favorite puzzle right now. Well, the, the little way more beads tech that I am, I'm trying to work through you know, the screen up here by the scale. Yeah. But the little beads so you guys are having a get together over in um, diameter in downtown. And oh, the goal yeah. here is to fill up that who's, 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 who's presenting who's beads? Wow. Now we don't want to play games inside the heart, but it's just simply a good a good way to show the sort of control we have. So we not only have good position control, but because the robot is made out of metal tubes, we have much more uh, control of the forces that we apply inside the heart. So what we're also doing is collaborating with a, a startup out here, out here in California, Microfabrica, in making tooling for the delivery platform. The, uh, the tools are made with a metal MEMS process. So they're, they're put down in 25 uh, micron thick. Really, legs. really small tools. Hey, Greg, how are you? Um, I don't know if you can focus on those, um, but, the, but the tools are basically to fulfill yeah, yeah. two functions. Uh, one is to remove tissue, excess tissue, and the other is to attach layers of tissue together. So we can't use the standard techniques that one would use in open surgery. So basically we have to reinvent all the tooling and how the procedure would be done. And so we've got a variety of uh, you know, uh, scaled up versions of the tools that we wrap a prototype so that you can get an idea of how we might have this mounted at the end of the robot and, and with these teeth, you know, flip it over, with these teeth we can grab tissue, um, pull it in, and suck it right out of the robot so that it doesn't escape into the bloodstream. Um, and this is uh, for more aggressive tissue removal. We also have designs for precisely removing tissue layers. Even though this looks a little more dangerous, it's actually a little bit more precise. We're cutting away uh, millimeter thick tissue layers inside the heart. Okay? So um, this is what we're about. Great, yeah. I mean, thank you so much. Uh, very fascinating technology. I mean, it's really tough to describe how minuscule these tools are, but uh, you know, once you get under the microscope, you really see the, the detail that goes into them. It's really neat stuff. So best of luck. Thank you um, very and, you know, much. Keep us uh, up to date on, on what's going on in the lab. We will do so. Great, thank you.